Hello and welcome to Reginald ESQ. I'm Underhook and this is another in my series uh, looking at the armour changes to the tanks that were had HD remodelling in 9.3. So there were six tanks remodelled and the Jag Panther is one of them. Now it's had quite a few changes and depending on how you play the tank will depend on whether or not you think it is has been buffed or has been nerfed. It's, uh, yeah, it has some nice buffs and has a couple of little nerfs as well. Let's get into it. So colorized view. The lower plate at 50 mils is exactly the same as before. The upper plate at 80 mils is exactly the same as before, except uh, as they have been doing with all of them now, the machine gun port there was a weakness. It was 40 millimeters uh, around the machine gun port. It's now gone, so it's now 80 millimeters, same as the rest. That's quite a good buff, actually, because that was a major weak spot in this uh, hull. So, moving on now to the gun area, and this has had quite a major change. So, first of all, we've got this. I'm going to call this a gun surround, which is 135 millimeters, and that's the same as it was before. However, it used to run up to the top of the tank here, but not go behind the mantlet at all there the way it does now. So it's quite different. The actual shape of this uh, whole thing is different as well. Like, it actually dives down in there now. Like, it's like a, I'm calling it a gun cave. It actually slopes down into there. It never used to do it before. It used to be almost sort of flat. And now it actually drops down in. So it's a kind of a bit of a different design now. But anyway, this gun surround thing, it used to run up to the top, and then it was just the uh, sort of 80 mils at the back of the mantlet. But now you've got uh, this 135 mils running right along the back top of the mantlet, which is quite a buff. Um, yeah, anyway, then in this gun cave thingy, this area here is uh, is 100 millimeters, which is the same as it used to be before, and it was visible from the sides like that at 100 mil, so that's the same. The, what am I going to call it? Back plate, which you can see here, is 80 millimeters. Now, Previously, that was visible past the side of the mantlet, which it's not anymore. That 80 millimeters is only visible down there, and you can see it again once we actually have a look at the mantlet. So let's have a look at the mantlet. So the top of the mantlet now, the mantlet is the same as it was before at uh, 96 millimeters, but at the top here now we now have this back plate or surround plate, I call it, running behind the mantlet at the top. So we've now got 96 over 135, whereas I think it used to be 96 over 80. So that's a big buff. Uh, if you're getting hull down in this tank and you're just trying to expose your gun, if someone hits that top line there, um, that's going to be very hard to penetrate. So that's definitely a buff. Moving in here now, if I look at the edges of it, we've got 96.80, which is exactly the same as it was before. But as we move closer in, we can see it drops to 96 over 30. That never used to happen. It used to stay 96 over 80. So as we get closer to the gun now, it goes to 30. It didn't used to do that, it used to stay 80. There was a section here though, we see it's zero there, and it's zero, and then it goes to 30. Yeah, so that was that was all 96 over 8. So that's actually a nerf. So we've got a bit of a mixture of nerfs and buffs on the mandlet, but I think overall it's probably a buff, mainly because of this top section, and the fact that when you get close to the gun, the shape of the mantlet, oh, I'll push the wrong button there, the shape of this mantlet pretty much means it's going to ricochet anyway. So I think that's pretty much the 30 mils behind it isn't really going to matter, and it's pretty much just going to be a buff. All right, now moving to the side of the tank. We have the upper hull 50 millimeters, exactly the same as before. The lower hull, I can see a little bit of it here, is 40 millimeters, same as before. But it's had a pretty substantial buff, really, because you used to be able to see quite a big section of the lower hull here. So the tracks used to actually come down here and go across here, and it was a quite a big chunk that was exposed. So side shots, you could shoot straight in between the tracks and the upper hull, and it was only 40 millimeters. They've actually extended the track armor up, or extended the tracks up, and it's covered in. So you've got to get through the 25 millimeters of track armor before you can get through the 40 millimeters. And this is also quite interesting because almost, well, every other tank so far, I've reviewed four of the six change tanks, has had big chunks cut out of the track armor um, showing the lower hull. This tank, they've maintained 
that full track armor and extended it higher. So I think what they're trying to say is 40 millimeters of armor can be overmatched by a 120 mil millimeter gun, which are fairly common at tier seven. And this is a T7 tank. So if this was in a sort of a side scraping position, okay, 50 millimeters, my 120 or 122 millimeter will bounce off that, or ricochet as you can see here. But in this 40 millimeters, it would have been an overmatch and pretty much an automatic penetration. So I could have shot through the gap there and basically obliterated this thing if it was side scraping. So by extending the tracks, you can see now I cannot reach the 40 millimeter with my gun unless I get happen to get right in there which is a pretty bit of a fluke shot. So I think they've protected this thing for side scraping from being overmatched on the side. Interesting. The rear of the tank, we have uh, 40 millimeters down the bottom, which is the same as before. And it's 40 millimeters on the top of the back here. That used to be 50 millimeters. So I guess we could call that a nerf. Um, and maybe it's a trade-off for the substantial buff on the side. The top deck is 25 millimeters, exactly the same as it was before. But we've had the addition now of a cupola, which never used to be there. So if we take that off, see this cupola here? It wasn't there before, it was just flat and it, had just, it just had the little pop-up viewport, but it didn't have a cupola. So now, apart from the, the deck being sloped forward, which means you can shoot and with a 75 mm caliber gun or bigger overmatch the roof, you now also have a little cupola. It can be reached from the side. It's a very small. But if you aim at that now, you've got a better chance, a much less chance of ricocheting and you can go in and you'll overmatch the roof anyway, but you can overmatch that now too. So a little bit of a weakness there. So overall, buffs and a few nerfs, but the nerf at the back, well, if they're behind you, they're gonna, you're dead anyway. So I'd say overall, it's a buff to this tank. Um, I'm now going to run a replay side by side so you can have a look and see the changes uh, in for yourself. On the left will be the 9.2 version of the tank, and on the right will be the 9.3 version of the tank. Hopefully that gave you a bit of an overview of the changes to the Jack Panther. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more um, videos, reviews, please subscribe to Reginald ESQ. Have fun.